what is a multiple time frame a trading method what is a multiple time frame a trading method Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, Traders. The title of the video is uh, What is uh, a Multiple Time Frame a Trading Method? All right. A multiple time frames uh, trading method is a trading method that uh, uses at least uh, two times frames or preferably three times frames to analyze a financial instrument in view to time the market at the right time and place. Repeat, a multiple time frame trading method is a trading method that uses at least uh, two times frames or preferably three times frames to analyze a financial instrument, either stock, commodity, or currencies, in view to time the market at the right time and place. Generally, the first time frame is for the trading setup, the second time frame is for the signal, and the third time frame is for the low risk entry point. All right. So in this tutorial, we want to clarify what is uh, a multiple time frame trading method. If one is day trading or swing trading, if one is a technical trader, one must know how to use a multiple time frame a trading method. A multiple time frame trading method is also called a top-down trading method. Okay, so when we are talking about uh, a top-down trading method, we are also talking about uh, a multiple time frame a trading method. All right, it's very important for traders to learn to master how to use uh, a multiple time frame a trading uh, a method. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so I'm on a weekly chart looking at. Uh, uh, Dupont Nemo, uh, Epic uh, Delta Delta listed on the Dow 30 index on the weekly chart. Okay, so we on the weekly chart we have uh, here Dupont Nemo, all right, and we can see that uh, the price went up uh, from here where I put uh, this spot here all the way up here, and then uh, the price uh, pulled back here. Okay. So, using a Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the price pulled back to the 78% Fibonacci retracement zone, all right? So, a stock that went up from A to B, now pulled back to 78% Fibonacci retracement level. Now, generally speaking, if uh, this is uh, a dynamic uh, bullish stock, if a stock is truly, truly bullish, if the fundamental are solid, and a stock pulled back uh, 78%, it's a kind of a discount. So many investors would like to buy that stock after a 78% Fibonacci retracement, all right? So talking about uh, a top-down trading method, if we consider, repeat, if we consider this 78% uh, Fibonacci retracement as, uh, okay, a bullish trade setup, so there was a bullish progression, and then a, pull, a price pulled back to 78% Fibonacci retracement level. If we consider that as a, a bullish trade setup, we cannot afford to buy straight away the stock as it is. That will be, okay, a trading mistake. The biggest trading mistake is to trade on one time frame alone. So if we see okay, a bullish trade setup or a bearish trade setup on any time frame and we just buy or sell is a trading mistake. So to avoid that particular trading mistake, we must use what we call a top-down trading method. So for the purpose of the demonstration of what is a multiple time frame trading method or what is a top-down trading method, we are considering, okay, this uh, bullish progression followed by 78% Fibonacci retracement as a bullish trade setup. So, 
the weekly chart that I'm using here, this is what I call my trading setup. So this is one time frame. So when we are talking about multiple time frames, trading method, we are not using one time frame. We are using at least two time frames or preferably three times frames. Okay. So if I consider this as uh, my trading setup, my bullish trade setup, the next time frame that I will combine with my weekly chart, in my view, is the four hour chart. So I'm now going to the four hour chart, looking at, uh, okay, the same financial instrument, but on a different time frame. So far, I have uh, analyzed the stock on the weekly chart. Now I switch my time frame to the four hour chart. So now I'm using at least a two time frame. So the second time frame is generally, repeat generally the second time frame is for the trading signal so in order to buy this stock if i want to buy this stock i must wait for a trading signal on a signal time frame so for the purpose of this demonstration i'm using the four hour chart as my uh, okay signal time frame all right so i'm just drawing a trend line here okay because the price is in a declining channel all right, you can see that it went down fast. Now we have another trend line here. So I'm drawing a true trend line, okay? So, so in fact, I will draw a channel like this. All right, it makes sense. So we have a declining channel. So another trading mistake that we don't want to repeat is to violate the market pattern. All right, so I don't want to dwell on it. So for me, all right, using a four hour chart as my trading signal time frame. I will prefer on a four hour chart that the price rally up, pr probably rally up from here, somewhere to retest um, this uh, bearish trailer here. Okay, and then to pull back, okay, forming a double bottom or to retest uh, this trend line. Okay, so I will prefer instead a double bottom pattern price rally coming out of uh, this smaller channel, rally up bullishly. Okay, and then to pull back. And forming, okay, either a higher low or equal low. We don't want it to go below this support level in the zone of 48.70. So that will form my uh, trading signal on the four hour chart. So price is out of a bearish channel, and then price run away, going up bullishly, and then price pulling back, and then price failing to display a new lower low. Because as you see here, the price was going down, displaying lower lows, lower high. But if it come out of the channel and then fail to display a new lower low, it's telling us that the bullish momentum is diminishing. This is my, uh, okay, trading signal. So if the price come out of this channel and then pull back to, uh, to form a higher low or equal low here or retest the channel, that will form my uh, trading signal. But when I receive the signal, I will not enter the train on my signal time frame. All right. From the four hour time frame, I will now switch my time frame to the 15 minute time frame. And I will now do exactly the same thing that I have done on the four hour chart. Repeat, I will do exactly the same thing that I have done on the four hour chart on a 15 minute chart. My 15 minute chart. It is my uh, okay entry time frame. All right, I just want to remove uh, uh, this spot here. So, so we start from the weekly chart trading setup. All right, then we use the four hour chart for the signal breakout and then pull back. Okay, and then we go to the 15 minute chart for the signal. On the 15 minute chart, my signal will be i'll tell you that i will do i will do exactly the same thing so if the price repeats remember we want a price first on a signal time frame we want to have a signal so we want a price to do something like this to we want a price uh, to rally up okay and then to pull back okay and to form a okay, equal low or higher low here, where my green spot, okay? So if that happens, if we receive the signal on the four hour chart, I will now switch to the 15 minute chart. 
after the price rally up and pull back and retest the trend line on the four hour chart i will now go to the 50 minute chart and once again i would like to see the price you see the prior retest okay suppose okay the prior retest pull back to retest at this point in time on a 50 minute chart we want to see exactly the same thing okay that's the prior retest it here on a 50 minute chart at the time when we are about to enter the trade the price should come out of uh, okay a bearish channel on the 50 minute chart remember we are doing exactly the same thing that we have done on the four hour chart after the signal is fired repeat after the signal is fired we will switch to the 50 minute chart and we would like to see the price coming out of uh, a declining channel on a 50 minute chart and uh, pulling back to display either a higher low or equal low on a 15 minute chart this is about a top down trading method so the setup is on the weekly chart okay the signal is taking place on the four hour chart and the entry is on the 50 minute chart but remember the signal on the four hour chart we want the price to break out of the declining channel to rally up a bit and to pull back and forming either a higher low or equal low or retesting the channel if that happens we'll go to the 50 minute chart and we'll expect this price again to come out of a bearish channel to rally up a bit and to pull back to display higher low equal low uh, uh, on the 50 minute chart which is our entry time frame now for the purpose of this video i don't want the video to be too long we can continue again for the entry time frame if we want to minimize the, the risk from the 50 minute chart, we can also go down all the way to the one minute time frame, even a three minute time frame to enter, to, to pinpoint the best place to enter the trade. But for the purpose of this video, I will not engage myself in that uh, exercise. Okay? If we see a trading setup on a weekly chart like this there is something else that we do that we call a validation of the trading setup now you will watch probably you have watched a video on youtube or on the web where they are talking about uh, a multiple time frame trading method now the tricky part of the multiple time frame trading method is that when one is using a multiple time frame trading method one must always validate the trading setup a lot of uh, even as some experienced traders have seen it when traders see a trading setup they do not vow they do not validate uh, the trading setup okay on another time frame so we are using the weekly chart as our trading setup time frame okay i repeat that uh, for a multiple time frame trading method we must use at least two time frame preferably okay a three time frame but we can do use more than three time frames we can use more than three time frame but the general rule is that at least two time frame and preferably three time frame now if we want to validate the trade setup we must go to another time frame that is higher than the trading setup time frame so because i'm on the weekly chart if i want to validate the trade setup i will go for instance to the monthly chart which is a higher time frame than the weekly time frame the purpose of validating uh, the trading setup is to see the bigger picture to see whether this is a solid trading setup or is it a risky trading setup is it a high probability trade setup is it a reliable trading setup this is about the validation of a trading setup i have just said something very important and i hope okay that stick into your mind that you do not forget that okay when you are applying a trading a, a multiple time frame trading method always validate the trading setup so for the purpose of this video i was telling you that uh, we see the prior rally from a to b and then pull back to the 78 percent uh, fibonacci retracement level and uh, if we consider that repeat if we consider that as a, a trading setup we now use the four hour chart for the signal time frame and the 15 minute time frame for the entry now if you are a day trader do not switch off yet because i want to talk about okay how a day trader also can apply a multiple time frame trading method a swing trader can apply a multiple time frame trading method so stay with us as we continue uh, this discussion about uh, a top-down trading method okay 
So look carefully. So from the weekly chart, we see a uh, bullish trade set out. Now, if you look carefully on the weekly chart, what has happened? Okay, look carefully. You want to analyze what has happened or if you are validating the trading setup. The price has formed what we call ABCD chart pattern. Okay, so for new trader, pay attention carefully. The price has formed ABCD chart pattern. Okay. You want to know more about ABCD chart pattern? Go to www.stochasticmarty.com. So this is the point A, point B, point C, and point D. A, B, C, D chart pattern. Okay. Now the price pulled back nearly 78 percent Fibonacci retracement level. We are talking about validation of uh, okay a trading setup. Now the general rules about the validation of uh, a trading setup is that when we see a bullish trade setup, we want the bullish trade setup to be at least at a valid support level. All right. If we see a bearish trade setup, we want the bearish trade setup to be at least at a, a valid resistance level. This is the general rule when we are talking about the validation of a trading setup. I may record another video in the future when I will be talking about, uh, okay, how to validate a trading uh, setup, okay? So here, if you look carefully, the price has formed A, B, C, D chart pattern. The best support level will be here. You see, the, there was a, a double bottom pattern here. This is a... Uh, a validation of this level as a support level. So, talking about the validation of the trading setup, it will be better for this stock to come all the way here. It will be better for me for the price to pull to have what we call a hundred percent Fibonacci retracement level. So, the price started moving up from here all the way up here. Now, it's somewhere here. The best support level, remember we want to validate a bullish trade setup, the bullish trade setup must take place at a valid support level. The best support level is at a 4109 instead of 4877. So this is just one example that we can use uh, when we are talking about uh, a validation of uh, a trading setup. So this trading setup as it is now is not very convincing. It doesn't mean that the price cannot go up from here but we want to know okay how much risk this trade okay uh is uh giving us okay so it's not okay a high probability trade setup we will prefer the setup to be completed here at the level of 4109 so the exercise that we are doing is talking about the validation of the trading setup is uh, to analyze how much risk the setup is giving us okay so there is a little bit of risk in this trading setup now by using a top-down trading method we are able to navigate through the market and to manage risk so though the trading setup is not as strong as we are expecting it, we will prefer it to be here at 4109 as it is now. If we apply a top-down trading method, as I explained to you, weekly chart for our chart, 50 minute chart, we can still trade this without getting too much into trouble. But the exercise that we are doing here is what we call the validation of a trading setup. For the purpose of this video, I will not, uh, okay, expand the subject of uh, validation of a trading setup. I will record another video when we will talk. We will be talking about uh, a validation of a trading setup. The general rule is that uh, we want to see a bullish trade setup at a valid support level and a bearish trade setup at a valid uh, resistance zone. This is the general rule. But as I promise, I will record another video where we will be discussing how to validate a, a bullish trade setup or how to validate a bearish trade setup. So our trading setup is not as gorgeous that we would prefer it. There are some elements of risk, but by applying a top-down trading method, we can uh, trade this without too much trouble. Weekly chart, four hour chart, 50 minute chart. This is one example of, uh, okay, a multiple time frame trading method. Now, some trader may say weekly chart, two hour chart, 15 minute chart. Now, sometimes traders get into trouble. When we are talking about two hour time frame, 
and four hour time frame there is no big difference there is no big difference between the two hour time frame and the four hour time frame so if you hear me talking about two hour time frame instead of four hour time frame just understand that these two time frame there's no big difference as such okay all right so if one is day trading okay suppose you are day trading all right and uh, you see a trading setup on a daily chart okay you see a, suppose you see a double bottom chart pattern on a daily chart this is a bullish okay trade setup okay so talking about multiple time frame trading method one example you will use the daily chart as your trading setup you will use the hourly chart as your signal time frame and you will use the 10 minute time frame as your entry time frame for the entry time frame we can zoom into it all the way down to the one minute time frame all right if for instance you are day trading you see a trading setup on a four hour chart or two hour chart so this is one thing you need to understand four hour chart two hour time frame no big difference on the four hour time frame or two hour time frame all right so that will be your suppose you see an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern a bullish chart pattern, an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern on the two hour time frame all right you use the two hour time frame okay you can use okay 15 minute time frame for your signal and you can use five minute time frame for your entry so two hour time frame or four hour time frame for the trading setup okay and 15 minute time frame for your signal time frame this is for day traders and you will use the five minute time frame or three minute time frame for your entry the trouble i hope you did not forget what i said before the challenge of using a multiple time frame trading method is the validation of the trading setup. So when you see the trading setup on a two hour time frame, daily time frame, or two hour time frame, suppose you're on a two hour time frame, or four hour time frame, and then you see a trading setup. Do me a favor, validate that trading setup at least on the daily chart. Okay, so we can use the daily chart to validate a trading setup on a two hour time frame and a four hour time frame. This is critical because if you fail to validate a trading setup, the foundation of the trade is weak. You want to analyze the risk that is involved, okay, before you apply the top down trading method. So when you see a trading setup on a two hour time frame, four hour time frame, you will use at least the daily time frame, at least. We can go on a weekly chart, even go to the yearly chart to validate a trading setup. I always like to see the yearly chart. That's why I use TC2000 trading software. All right. So at least I'm not saying that that's the only time frame that you can use to validate a trading setup on a two hour time frame and four hour time frame. But at least the daily time frame to validate trading setup on the two hour time frame and also on the four hour time frame. If we were using the daily charts as our tr trading setup time frame, we can use at least, repeat, at least the weekly time frame to validate the daily time frame trading setup. All right? If you were using the monthly chart as our trading setup time frame, we can use the quarterly chart to validate the trading setup that we have seen on the monthly chart. This is great for investors or in long term okay, uh, market participants. Okay? Now, it would be nice to see another better time frame than the yearly time frame. But if we see a trading setup on the yearly time frame, we don't have another higher time frame to validate the setup. We, we, we can't go any further. So that's what we have. That's what we can work with. All right. So that's why I pre always like to see the yearly chart. OK. So if you see a trading setup on a yearly time frame, OK, you are an investor or you see a setup on a yearly time frame, you use, OK, yearly charts okay monthly chart for your signal monthly chart for your for your signal and you can use also the daily chart for your entry okay because you are concerned about the long-term views so somebody that is concerned on the long-term view is likely to enter the trade on a, a little bit higher time frame talking about the entry time frame so you may say to me joy why in the name of God, somebody should use daily chart as entry. But remember what I said also, we can for the entry, we can zoom into it all the way down. 
So when we see daily chart, we say daily chart for entry time frame. Uh, it doesn't mean that we stop there. We can pinpoint all the way down to the hourly chart, 30 minute, 50 minute chart to, to pinpoint the best time to enter the market. But generally, repeat generally, when we are talking about a top-down trading method or a multiple time frame trading method, if we see a trading setup on a yearly chart, we will use the monthly chart as our signal and we will use a daily chart for our entry. It makes sense? So yearly chart, monthly chart, daily chart, okay? Weekly chart, four hour chart, 50 minute chart, okay? Daily chart, hourly chart, 10 minute time frame. All right, we can go on and on, but that's not the only way, okay, one should use, okay, a multiple time frame trading method. So if you have any suggestion, put it in the comment section, and uh, we will look at it and uh, get back uh, to you, okay? It makes sense? So for a day trader, day trader may look for a trading setup on a daily chart, okay, on a two hour chart, on a four hour chart, and then combine it with a different time frame. Do not use one time frame alone, okay? All right, the validation of the trading setup for the purpose of this video, do not forget to validate the trade setup. Otherwise, you are trading like old fashioned traders. The setup, validation of the trading setup, and then signal and then entry. There are more to this, but we can we cannot go on and on and on. So I can say you quickly. We see a trading setup, we validate the trading setup, we apply the top-down trading method. We check the economy news and the fundamentals. The economy news and the fundamentals can change the dynamics of uh, a multiple time frame trading method. Always combine the technical analysis with the fundamental. We have seen a lot of traders come into the market. They rush into it with technical alone and they are out of the market. Okay, you don't want that. Combine the technical analysis with the fundamental. You are trading for us. Pay attention to the economy news of for us factory. You are trading stock. Go to Google Finance or Yahoo Finance, okay? Check the economy news, check the fundamental, the balance sheet, the, the financial, perform at least a Google Finance Assist test, okay? To know whether is it worthy even buying that stock. So if you see a bullish technical trade setup and you apply, okay, a top-down trading method, but the stock is not going anywhere, everybody wants to sell it because of the fundamental reasons, you are likely to lose and you may think that a top-down trading method does not work always combine the technical analysis and the fundamentals analysis it makes sense it is also powerful all right so some trader may say to me john how about we see a trading setup on the hourly chart okay these are just few examples that i'm giving to you so on the hourly chart very often we use a double top and double bottom head and shoulder chart pattern and uh, an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. So when we see this type of a trading setup on the hourly chart, what do we need to do? First, we must validate that a trading setup either on the four hour chart or daily chart. You can even use two hour chart, but four hour chart to validate hourly chart a trading setup at least, okay? After that, you will go and use, for instance, 50 minute chart, okay, or even 10 minute time frame for your signal. And then you may go and use a three minute time frame or even a one minute time frame. I don't like one minute time frame or three minute time frame. So hourly, 10 minute, three minute time frame. Hourly for the trading setup, okay. Validation of trading setup on the four hour chart, okay. And then you may use a 10 minute time frame for your signal and three minute time frame for your entry. So. This is not like an exact science. That's the only way one can use a top-down trading method. One can, the most important thing, okay? So what's the bottom line? The bottom line is that do not use one time frame alone. Have a trading setup time frame, have a signal time frame, and have an entry time frame. When you see a trading setup, use another higher time frame to validate the trading setup. As you applying a top-down trading method, do not forget to check Google Finance or Yahoo Finance or Forest Factory talking about the fundamentals and the economy news. All right? What is a multiple time frame trading method? All right? It is a trading method that uses at least a two time frame 
or preferably three times frame to analyze a financial instrument in view to time the markets at the right time and the right place. All right, the right place is about valid support level for bullish trade setup, valid resistance level for bearish trade setup, okay? Right place. The timing is about the entry point. So when we are about to enter the train, we talk also, uh, you remember we don't want the video to be too long, we talk about also about the market environment. So like this week, okay, we were talking about the Federal Reserve, okay, decision, interest rate decision. So that was yesterday. So the whole week, all market participants were waiting for that economy news. It had some impact on the market. Everybody was waiting for the Federal Reserve, whether they're going to put up interest rate in the United States or not. And they did not, they hold it. So these are the kind of exercise we do. What is the current market environment? All right, the market environment will influence the trade. So these are just few things you need to be aware of when you apply in a top-down trading method. It's not just uh, something we do by itself, but we consider other things. It makes sense? Okay, it is also uh, powerful. So if you have any question, okay, put in the comment section. If you want us to talk about something else, okay, put in the comment section. Uh, as I said to traders, I look at the comments and in the future I'll record videos to answer these questions or these uh, to address uh, your feedbacks. Okay? All right? The next thing I want to clarify here, some traders may say to me, George, I prefer to use two time frame now. Yes, trader can use two time frame for multiple time frame trading methods. So because we say at least two time frame. Now, I need to say this clearly now. If you want to use two time frames for multiple time frame trading method or for a top down trading method, you need to have some experience. You should be at least advanced traders. Advanced traders can use two time frames. All right? <laughs> now, I think it's better that we record another video <laughs> where we talk about, okay, how to use two time frame uh, for multiple time frame trading method. The approach is very simple. For instance, we see on the weekly chart that one example I can give to traders, uh, price is at a resistance level on the weekly chart, and then we can switch, for instance, to a uh, five-minute time frame, uh, waiting for a signal and for entry. What do I mean? Price at a resistance. Support, you see here, uh, price at a resistance. Now, price at a support here, like it is now. It's in the support zone. There's a kind of support here, yes or no? So we switch directly to the entry time frame. Okay, five minute time frame or 50 minute time frame. The time, so we go from the setup, okay, to the entry time frame straight away. Now that's how we will build the TSTW24. The trading setup, first best time frame. Now what are we doing, looking for? Do not violate the trading setup, the market pattern when you are doing that. So you see a price at a resistance on a weekly chart or at a support on a weekly chart, you switch to the five minute chart and monitoring the reaction of the price at a key support or key resistance level. You can use also resistance or key levels on the yearly chart and then you switch to your entry time frame. This is one example of using two times frame. It's usually day traders use that method. But for swing traders, I prefer that you stick to the three time frames when you are applying a top-down trading method for a day trader, a day trader can see a trading setup and directly go to the entry time frame. All right, so you can see a price at a resistance, key resistance, or price form a bearish chart pattern on a higher time frame, a double top on the at a resistance level on the higher time frame. You switch to the lower time frame, your entry time frame, and you are looking for the same pattern to be copy on your entry time frame. So double bottom on the higher time frame, you go to your entry time frame, you see a double bottom, and then you want to enter again. See a double top on the higher time frame, you switch to your entry time frame, you want to see again a double bottom. But as I said, I said to you, there is a little bit of risk in this uh, method. You need to be a little bit experienced or advanced trader if you want to use two time frames for multiple time frame trading method. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of uh, this video about uh, what is uh, a multiple time frame trading method. It is a trading method that uses at least a two times frame or preferably three times frame to analyze a financial instrument such as a commodity, stock, currency pair uh, in view to time the market at the right time at the right place. Generally, the first time frame is for the trading setup, but one should not forget to validate the trading setup on another a higher time frame. The second time frame is for the signal. If the signal fails, one must come out straight away. After the signal is fired, one will select another time frame to for the low risk entry point. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please make sure you give us the thumbs down. All right. If you have any comment, put in the comment section. If you love this video, feel free to share in Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you love our videos, feel free to subscribe to our channels. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders, talking about what is a multiple time frame trading method or a top-down trading method. Speak to you soon.